1973 Triumph Stag, 3 litre V8 this one, 4 speed manual with the overdrive, grey colours with a white on black, long term ownership as well, bodyweight wise we're going to start off at the bonnet, work our way around this lovely Stag, onto the interior, we'll check over the roof and then we'll go for a cold engine start up. Lovely and tidy straight up the bottom, got no real issues with any odd or any small imperfection in the paint if you're being really harsh, but with it being white, it's not really noticeable at all. Lovely and tidy and straight up both sides of the bonnet. You can see how flat the paint is, and you can see how level the bonnet is, but you've got these very, very small sort of just in the right light, you might just catch them outside, you can't see them, but under these lights in here, you can just sort of catch these slight little marks in the paintwork there on the bonnet. Around the bottom of the windscreen, you'll see with it being white, you'd see any rust or any corrosion from 10 paces back. That's not the case with this one. All lovely and tidy around the windscreen. Normally on these stags, we find quite heavy delamination on the windows. That's not the case on this one either. No delaminations in the corner. We're going to come back down the right hand side of the bonnet onto your front nose cone there. A little bit of paint shrink just on the two sides there again not really very noticeable until you're sort of up close against it but very very presentable this one very very usable as well you'd be happy to take this one down the local car show that's for sure down the left hand side your chrome bumper is lovely no heavy pitting to the bumper of the yard a little bit of pitting but no heavy pitting at all all nice and shiny no big dings or dents your lights are all lovely and clear across the front end so is the chrome around your grill surround there, around that recess, the grill's all in one piece, not missing any bits, not cracked anywhere. Tiny little mark just inside there below the right hand indicator. We're going to do the valance and I will be sticking my camera underneath this one, that's for sure. So we come round onto the driver's front wing, lovely and tidy at the wing top itself, no dings or dents, nice and straight down that right hand side wing. Down the lower half, we'll go nice and slow around the wheel arch there. You'll see a little stone chip to the top, that's the right hand side front. And a tiny little mark down the bottom there, along your sill trim. We'll do the arch as well, it's always nice to have a good look at those there. And like I say, with it being white, you'll see any corrosion from quite some way away. Have a good look at that wheel as well. We'll go along the lower half of the section there, all nice and tidy. I'm going to stick the camera underneath so you can have a good look at that there. Nice and slow, bit of shaky camera work, as you'll see, I've only got one hand today. Across the lower half, a few little marks. Where people have been getting in and out, just little scuffs off your shoes. Nice and straight up the rest of that driver's door. No major marking around the handle. Again, the odd little imperfection in the paint here and there on this one. You can just see them in the right light, but again, it doesn't really from the overall appearance of this one when we're all good as we come down the rear quarter on the right hand side lovely and straight again sits lovely and level this one if i come back a little bit across the lower half of the rear quarter got a few little stone chips at the back of the door where it's been opened up there we'll go around the arch first and then we'll come back round on the paint side of things all nice and level on the paint side of things there your black decals like the twin line coat stripes are lovely and fresh. Come down the lower valance there. There's a little bit of food, little stone chips at the bottom there, just taking the head off the paint. Up the rear quarter, around the fuel caps, all okay as well. Again, a little sort of imperfection in the paint here and there. Around the back bumper again, no scuffs or scrapes, no dings or dents. All nice and tidy there. A little bit of a dent on the left hand side. Again, all nice and fresh, good reflection there. There's a good looking reflection right there. But it's a very, very, very light pit again. I can't, like, very, very light. Overriders are good. Your rear right light, light lenses are lovely and clear. That whole rear aperture there is lovely and tidy with the chrome trim all the way around. Up onto the boot lid itself. All the gaps are good on this one. They're all nice and straight. You don't have to slam anything to close it. Again, all nice and presentable across the boot. And across your rear scuttle there. But again, the odd little imperfection, slight scratch or a little bubble under the paint itself. But again, your nose has got to be touching it to notice that. Do the rear valance, which are normally a common issue. 
and have a good look underneath there from the back. No problems with that. With that. See, there, it is quite hard on the floor, mind. As we come around the left hand side again, lovely and straight on the rear quarter, all one shade of white as well, which is nice and tidy. Again, a few little stone chips down the lower half with a little bit of rust there, but it's just where the sort of stones take the head off the paint, so not bad at all. No real concerns. Perfect summer user, this one. And again, if you look at the prices of stags, they've come back up. We found that, that it did dip a little bit last year, but they've come right back up again. Lovely and straight down that whole left-hand side. Again, you've got your chrome silk cover across the lower half on the left-hand side. We'll go back underneath so you can have a good look at that there. Back up onto the back of the door, nice and straight. No major scratching around the handle once again. All nice and level down the passenger door. No big dings or, dings or dents down that left-hand side. Lovely and straight across the top of the wing again. Lovely and straight across the top of the wing. And around this arch, we'll go nice and slow. Around the arch, you can have a good look at that. No rush coming through on the paint side of things on the arch either. And again, nice twin coat side stripes, all nice and level down one side. Like I say, all one colour white as well. We'll do the roof next. Lovely black roof, nice and tight across the front edge there. All nice and taut. No sagging anywhere. No creasing marks around the rear hoop there no snags rips or tears rear window nice and clear no yellow to that and no heavy scratching a few little marks where it gets put down but all nice and tidy across there and again on the left hand side lovely and taut on this back panel here no um snagging or wear marks to the rear hoop and lovely and taut across the left hand side all the way around and like i say it's lovely and tight with the door closed there's no nastiness there at all we're going to come round onto the interior now on the driver's side we're going to start door card lovely and fresh no problems at all with that no rips or tears no clips missing it's not hanging off anywhere no real wear to the handle either the seat itself is uh i've got no fault at all with that is absolutely superb no nicks out of this sort of the insert swab here, normally these get a little bit nicked because they've got a texture to them, that's not the case. The bolster's is lovely and firm on both sides and when you sit on the seat, you're not sitting on the floor, lovely and comfortable, I've got no complaints with that seat there. I'm just going to fold it forward here and have a look at the rear, again looking unused like most Triumph Stags rear seats, no issues at all with that, no rips, no tears, no snags. It smells nice and fresh and clean in here, you've got a lovely black carpet set throughout here. You can have a good look at those floors there, lovely black carpet set. Inside of the roof is as clean as the rest. Showing a little bit of wear to the steering wheel, but it's the right amount of wear for the year. And the mileage on this one, you can see the clocks there, all lovely and clear. You can see the mileage on 61889. Dashboard, we've got no delamination at all to the wood on the dashboard. No lacquer peel, no flaking. Down the centre console again, no problems at all with that there. All nice and clean. Tidy, lovely and shiny. No cracks in the dashboard at top itself. All lovely and clean in there. Into the boot now again. Lovely black carpet set is unmarked. No nasty stains in there at all. I will try and lift this up. Please bear with us, like I say. I'm going to come back. James is going to pull it out. We'll do the left hand side and we'll have a good look at that boot floor. Again, left hand side door card. No problems at all with that. No rips or tears, no clips missing, not hanging off anywhere. The seat itself, again, as good as the driver's side. No snagging, no marks. Minimal wear once again to the sort of far bolster there. It's a little bit soft, but that's been really harsh. Left-hand side from the rear again, no issues at all with that. Lovely and fresh in there. And the dashboard from the left-hand side, you can see no delamination to the wood and again a lovely black carpet set throughout james is just in the boot floor there trying to pull it out it takes a little bit of persuasion that's what i want to see that was worth it wasn't it Snug. have a good look in the boot floor there you've got the full size spare wheel with your wheel brace and a jack all lovely and clean in there got no problems at all with that onto the engine bay now it is your Triumph V8, 
the three litre twin carb. Like I say, it's a four speed manual with the overdrive. We'll do the strut tops and the inner wings. James is going to fire up here with a little bit of choke. With it being cold. No hesitation whatsoever off that. It wasn't even a full revolution before it fired up. Try and get it off the choke there as quick as we can to get it on there. Take the choke down a little bit, shifting over. Taking over lovely and smooth, there's no wobble at all from those engine mounts there. It's lovely and happy. I think we should have an oil pressure gauge in this one. We will check that. You'll see we've got the choke on a little bit. And there's your oil pressure gauge bang on there. Straight up, no problems at all with that one. What a very, very usable, enjoyable car this one is. And there you have it, the Triumph Stag 3 litre V8 with the Triumph engine there. Four speed manual on the overdrive, good colours, white on black, ready to be used that one and enjoyed.